What makes you angry as soon as you see it? Auto playing video ads on websites. More like auto play videos that aren't muted. If you want me to leave your website immediately, that's how. Spitting on the floor inside of a building. God damn it yesterday I saw somebody spit a few feet away from the exit while leaving the building. People can be so disgusting. I work at Walmart and have seen people shit on the floor. I work at Walmart and... Say no more. I don't think I have ever seen somebody spit in a building. When I worked at Home Depot I observed a couple people doing this. One guy in hardware kinda tilted a shop vac box forward, leaned in, and spit a mouthful of chew in the floor behind the vac. I immediately walked up to him and sarcastically asked if he needed any assistance with the shop vacs. He realized I saw him and said no as he quickly walked away. I've even chewed tobacco before, but I can't imagine anything much more disgusting and rude than spitting your nasty dip in the floor of a retail store. People who nearly kill me on the road with a phone clamped to their faces. Also people reading a book while driving. What a freaking freak. People who don't clean up after themselves. One time at a Burger King, a man in front of me got his order to go. Once he got his food, he walked over to the fountain drinks and filled up his cup. As he filled his cup up, he took his burger out of the paper bag and threw the garbage on the counter and left. A lady standing near me saw the act too and also looked disgusted. I hate it when people, including my friends, leave their trash in a movie theater. You are going to have to pass a garbage can on your way out. Some minimum wage earning teen is going to be in here in 2 seconds. Trying to clean up all this shit before the next showing. Can't you show him, her an ounce of respect by picking up your garbage, which will take almost no effort? Also, people who defend their actions with well, they pay someone to clean it up. If I throw my trash away, they'll be out a job. Frick you, Mike. My neighbor's dog barking all day at anything that moves on the street. Sorry, dude. My dog is racist and our neighborhood is of a darker persuasion. Without any prior occurrences, we were watching house and my dog would only bark at foreman. Our suspicious were confirmed during the commercial breaks when an athletic equipment commercial came on. She's a chihuahua. I was like dog. You are a minority also. Tailgating in heavy traffic. Look guy. There's literally nowhere to go. We're all in this mess together. I hate when the traffic is actually moving at a decent pace and we're all still really packed. And there's one Dow Chekano who is weaving in and out to get into the faster lane. To add on to this, the single drivers that speed through the carpool lane and then try to force their way in when they see a cop. Oh the sweet justice of blocking them in and getting them caught for that 500 plus dollar ticket. I thought you meant setting up a grill and drinking beer. That would make me happy, not angry. I would pull over and join someone if they were tailgating while waiting for traffic to clear up. Littering. 12 year olds making Facebook statuses about how wasted they are. Were. Oh my god I just took so much weed. So hi 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 lololololol don't tell my parents. Mum and four others like this. Even worse when you know them and know they're full of shit. That's when you call them out and threaten to tell. Show their parents. Bonus points if you make them cry. People that drive up the shoulder on the highway when there is heavy traffic. On 128 and 93 in MA. This is legal during rush hour. Posted signs and everything. Still annoys the hell out of me. Because if I want to get off at an exit, I have to watch out for people driving on the shoulder. I've only ever done that once. Though to be fair. The highway was almost at a standstill due to a massive accident. I was trying to get my wife who was in labor to the hospital. And a cop that was directing traffic told me I could do to my wife. Yet the glares I was getting from other drivers still made me feel like I was being a jerk. Even though it was an actual emergency. When I was 2 I ran over a hornet's nest. Got stung over 30 times. With a wagon and dad threw me in the car and is rushing to the emergency room. He pissed off some old dude who followed him all the way to the hospital entrance. He even got out of the car to yell at my dad, at the ER entrance. My dad told him to stay right here and we can talk as he went inside. Sigh. People. Where does this fricker think he's going? Let's see what was so important. Oh. The hospital. A. Ha. 
the emergency room. Well, I guess I should just stick around to see if it was a worthy emergency. The damn good mood food commercial Zabies has. A lot of times I have the TV on for background noise while I'm browsing the internet or gaming, so I'll hear a commercial without actually seeing it. So, for the longest time, I thought those commercials were saying, it's food food food. I thought, is this really what we've come to? This counts as a slogan? My old cat used to stare me in the eye while she pissed on my jeans laid on the floor. That made me pretty upset. Passive aggressive kitten disorder. Cured by cat mint and bacon. Pissing on someone's jeans is considered passive nowadays. Damn I've got to step up my game. For cats. Active would be a clawing ball of fur and teeth going at your face. In a loving kind of way. Seeing internet culture in real life that really should stay exclusively on the internet. I'm such a troll. Trolling. Especially since the people who use troll, in real life have no idea how to use it properly. Telling a joke is not freaking trolling someone. People on the internet don't know what trolling is anymore either. Just like people who think when they leave their Facebook open or people who use said Facebook and do a silly status and think it's hacking. That was not me. I was totally hacked. People who chew with their mouth open. Everyone has the right to chew however they please, but it infuriates me when I hear or see someone chewing like that. For me it's not the actual chewing with the mouth open. It's the smacking slobbery noise that usually accompanies the chewing. Oh goodness how that gets me. Or when they breathe and eat at the same time. Vehicles turning without a goddamn signal. Also. People who gun it out of parking lots onto the road, only to proceed to drive 20 miles under the speed limit on a road where you can't safely, never mind legally, pass them. One people type leaks. Pregnant women smoking. We're looking at you, Skylar. Nurse here. Although it's recommended for pregnant women to stop smoking, they are now advised to stop slowly and not cold turkey. Here's why. When a woman, in most situations, I'm not talking about exceptions. Finds out she's pregnant. She can be anywhere from 3-12 weeks along. The average is 8-10 weeks. If she's a smoker, she's been smoking the entire time before she found out about her pregnancy. Because fetuses absorb everything she takes in. They are also addicted to nicotine. Quitting cold turkey puts stress on mom. Yes, but it also puts stress on her fetus. Because it is also going through nicotine withdrawal. When I see a pregnant woman smoking, I can't judge her, because I don't know how many cigarettes she's had that day. Maybe she went the entire day smoke free. There's simply no way to tell. Honestly, if I were a smoker and pregnant, I'd wean, but smoke what little cigarettes I could in the privacy of my own home. Toddlers and tiaras. Honey boo boo. Previews for new Adam Sandler movies. Gang tags. A sign of blatant disrespect from cowardly cretins who demand respect themselves, yet can't make a move without six of their homies to back them up. I think gang tags are the human equivalent of dogs pissing on street lamps. To be honest, if they were colorful creative pieces in built up grey urban areas, I'd probably actually like them. But they're not. They're always shitty, clichéd, stupid tags that ruin the look of a nice little neighborhood, nearly always by some dumb. Suburban hard-ass teenagers. No matter how good they are done, the owner of the building might not like it. Now, good colorful graffiti or murals, done with the permission of the owner, I support that. When people are discussing ranting about something and deliberately misspell a name or turn it into some awful pun. It's like, show a little decorum. You don't like Obama. Fine, but why say Obama? You hate Romney. Okay. Why do you have to call him mittens? Linux fanboys bitching about micro dollar sign arc. Stuff like that just annoys the hell out of me. Fastest way to lose my respect for your opinion in a conversation. What do you have against mittens Romnington? That sounds like the cutest name for a kitten. The only acceptable cat name is Chairman Meow. I've always wanted to be a cat person and have a whole heap of dictator themed cats. Kitty Armin? Poor Pot? Adolf Kittler? Slobodan Milosakit, Claus Taylor, General Kotafi, Mial Solony, Zubats. 
I hold to this day that no more freaking Zubat should be a bullet point of the back of Pokemon Black and White as a selling point. Have some Woobats instead. Parents ignoring their children, especially if they are toddlers. It makes me rage inside. Especially when their children are running wild and tearing shit up. I mean, they are your kids, you have to raise them. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Little kids can get into shit so freaking quickly and easily. Not only is it a huge annoyance to others, but it can also be freaking dangerous. Oh, god, I'm getting pissed now. I have a two year old, and keeping her occupied is as easy as talking to her and letting her play with my phone, in instances where we're not able to get up and move around a lot. Either that or crayons and paper. She's one of the most hyperactive toddlers I've ever known, but little ones are not that difficult to keep occupied. My uncle has recently been divorced and his son is autistic. Even on his own, he still manages to keep him in line. Amazing guy, my uncle. As a parent myself now it's even worse, because there's always that one parent at the park who doesn't give a frick and their little demon spawn is running around clotheslining kids and drop kicking babies on the slides and shit. The day my daughter gets dropped by some kid I'm going to go fight the kid's dad. Reddit hasn't seemed to like my dog Mr. Kibbles, so here's my last attempt. Frick off. Mother fricking trash in the mother fricking woods. Pick you shit up people. You don't own the nature. You only rent it. Bitch. Worse than the trash is the tagging. I'll pick up a piece of garbage, but that boulder is ruined. Frick those people. Black Eyed Peas. Super Bowl 45. Never forget. Never forgive. Clueless European here. What has happened there? Buying groceries this week when a woman with her two dirty kids in front of me bought $60 worth of cookies, chips, coke and other junk food, paid with a food stamp debit card. And when I got to the parking lot she was getting into the driver's seat of a brand new $35,000 SUV. My head about exploded.